sometimes when you're scuba diving or you're snorkeling like fish come up to you and they're like looking up in your face and it's so cute I grew up in St. Andrew and then in high school I moved to Portmore so Kingston and St. Catherine I went to St. Andrew High School for girls <laughs> Our marine biology studies organisms that inhabit a body of water or more specifically the organi organisms that inhabit the ocean. Um, they would observe their behavior and uh, conduct research on what influences their behavior, what influences their population, what threatens them and help policymakers to come up with strategies to preserve the resource. My career goal growing up changed depending on what show I was watching. <laughs> um, I knew I wanted to do something that involved water for sure. How come? Um, in prep school and during high school I swam competitively. I also played water polo for my high school and I always went to the beach. I always went to the beach. At first, I was terrified of the ocean, ironically. And then I got a snorkel and I started to investigate what was touching me all those years and freaking me out. And then I think I fell in love. I always liked biology in high school, so I was always into finding out about organisms in general. And when I went to UV and I saw that marine biology would be offered, I just thought, wow, this sounds like it would be a lot of fun. And it was a lot of fun. And it was, it was hard, but it was fun. During my second year at UV, I applied for an internship at Nepal. I was here for three months and I worked like a bee, impressed to any day to impress. And it clearly paid off because after third year, when I graduated and I called to say, hi, you remember me? I just graduated, <laughs> need a job. And I was invited to come back again as an intern and my work spoke for itself and I've been moving, I moved up from internship to the position that time and now. Sometimes when you're scuba diving or you're snorkeling, like fish come up to you and they're like looking up in your face and it's so cute. and. When you discover something new and you go home and you google it, you're like, oh, we have that in Jamaica, that's so awesome. And the ocean is a scary place. So I, I like that every time you go in there, you're seeing something that you've never seen before. It can be really stressful. It can be extremely fun. And the day-to-day -day is a combination of, of both. Like a healthy amount of stress and pressure and a complimentary amount of vibes. <laughs> so a typical day in the field will involve me driving down to the north coast. Most typically, it would, the day would start off with me diving. Um, diving via scuba with probably three other people. And the aim of the day would be to come to a coral reef assessment a part of our annual coral reef surveys for the island. After that we would end up doing beach erosion monitoring which is as it says we go and measure the width of the beach every quarter to determine the annual changes in beach width and after that depending on what parish we're in we would probably do some site inspections and anything can happen on the site inspection. <laughs> You can go to a site and it's, you know everything's good and it's kind of boring or you go down there and you see people with a backhoe in the water and then it turns into a big thing yes it's fun being a marologist is very fun you get to interact with animals who doesn't like animals um corals are technically animals they don't do anything but they're pretty and they're fascinating and when you're out in the ocean there's a whole lot of things to interact with and it's just beautiful and Jamaica has lovely resources that we need to protect. <laughs>